everyone welcome back and welcome back to my project finished five by fall update i am so excited just like with every update that i do because every update means that i've made some kind of progress into moving stuff out from my collection that i haven't used or i haven't been using or that's just old and it needs to move on to project pan heaven so without further ado let's get started with the progress So the first item to go from my uh, project finished by, by fall was my Tarte BB cream. This one I enjoyed it, at first I didn't like it and then I started using it more and more and I just fell in love with it. I loved it and I will be repurchasing it again sometime in the far future because I have too many BB creams right now. But um, this had to go because it was about to expire on me and I didn't want that happening. So. So glad this is finally resting in peace. My next item that I am just ecstatic to have finished up because it was getting on my total nerves was one of my elf shadows, the elf shadow in vanilla. And this is gonna be a kind of like a two in one update kind of thing. Okay, so my vanilla shadow is totally gone and it's the one that was right here in this pan. And this is what it looks like when it was brand new. I accidentally bought both two of them, so those are gone. And I was so happy when I find it was finally used up because it was crumbly and it was broken. I'm like, okay, on to the next shadow. I can use it and it's not broken. I can just use it normally. Well, the darn thing broke on me. I dropped the compact and out of all out of the other two shadows that were there along with it, that one broke. So now I have to use it use it in its loose form so here it is that's what that crumbly mess looks like and this one is in the color i don't know what the color is 1104 that's all it says so um yeah making good progress on that one this one i would say it's about 50 percent gone maybe and the thing about these eyeshadows is when vanilla broke I just pressed it with the, with the end of the brush and it just repressed itself. I didn't need alcohol, I didn't need anything. I guess they're buttery like that, that you can just press them. This one I haven't pressed on a whole lot, but it's there. So I use this as a cheek highlight, as a brow bone highlight, as an everything highlight so, highlight so I can just move it on. Other e.l.f., my other e.l.f. product is this cream highlighter in the color spotlight and i use this as a highlighter on my cheek and on top of that i put the shadow or whatever highlighting powder i'm using so this one um i did have it measured here on the cap but i am not going to do that anymore because it kind of like you can't see any more progress on it because just one of the sides uh, is it focusing one of the, you see it's kind of lopsided because I just use it from one side. I don't know how I always use it from one side because if I apply it like this, it'll be like too thick. So I just do it like on the sides or whatever. So this is uh, really down to its, this right here that you can see is just like the pan. It's not product. So all the product that's left is just this little domey part right here. So. I mean, I don't know, these things last a long time, so there's really no telling how long it'll take me to move this on. Next is my dual-ended pencil, and I got this at the Dollar Tree, I believe, and it's from LA Colors, and I'm really trying to pan this one, the black side of it, but it has a gray side as well. And of course, I've been making more progress on the black side because I do use it to line my eyes very often. And I'm dying to get rid of this because there's a ton of other liners that I want to use up. So this one, I've made significant progress on. If you can see, okay. If you can see my progress, let me line it up. That's my progress right there. So as you can see, I started up here and now I am down to here. So it's not much more. It's getting kind of hard to sharpen this. Um, so it should be gone pretty soon. Oh, look, right there. It shows my progress right on the arrow. And the gray side, I use it basically sometimes. I'll use it as a base, but not 
all the time. I mostly use it just to line my bottom lash area. That will be the progress on this one. I started way up here as well and now I'm all the way down here. So they're going, they are going. Last item, last update I have, I am quite excited about because um, I had, this is actually my replacement item because I had the Wishful, the Tarte Wishful uh, minis, the Lip Surgeon minis and my daughter kept those so i replaced it with another lip gloss and it's this lip gloss right here i don't know what brand i might have gotten it in the art and beast no i don't know what store i got this in but it's been there in my drawer so i decided to use it up uh, when i started i was up here and now i am down here and i am impressed with this with the progress i've made on this because i don't use this i do use this a lot but this goes by this goes really fast it hasn't it doesn't really take much effort to finish this up so i'm very excited to that to get one more gloss out of my collection because i'm not really into a whole lot of glosses right now but but i've been enjoying using this so we'll see if i can finish it by fall so those are all my updates for now and i can't wait to do my next update video maybe it'll be my finale i don't know maybe i can squeeze in maybe one more update before fall although i doubt it my next video probably will probably be the finale so keep checking back for my finish five by fall finale and see how that turns out i'll see you guys in my next one bye